What if I told you there was a way to overcome all your obstacles, to win at everything you do, and to make every stumbling block a learning experience? Would you want to know the way? All of this is possible by choosing to eat adversity. <laughs> Every human being and business is faced with adversity at some point of their lives. The dictionary definition of adversity is pain, sorrow, difficulty, misfortune. My definition is to learn, grow, overcome, prevail. If it wasn't for adversity, I wouldn't be standing here today. Let me take a moment and share a little of my story with you. As a kid growing up in Mississippi, basketball was my life. Morning, noon, and night, it stayed on my mind. All I ever dreamt was to compete at the highest level. So I set my heart, mind, body, and soul to do so. After earning the Naismith National High School Player of the Year Award, I thought I was on my way, and nothing could stop me. So I committed to the University of Michigan, and I was eager to live up to all the hype and press that surrounded me. Not even halfway through my freshman season in a game versus our biggest rival, Michigan State. I was coming off a screen to catch the ball, and I felt a sharp stab in my right knee. I immediately collapsed. Players, coaches, trainers all rushed to my aid. I can remember hearing them say, Gerard, Gerard, just relax. Please, relax. But I couldn't get up. Now, as a young athlete, or young adult for that matter, you're never really prepared to hear any devastating news. I had to have surgery to repair a torn meniscus. Soon after that, I began to rehab. After all, I wanted to prove that I was the best at what I did. Not even nine months later, in a game versus Washington State, after a strong drive to the basket, it felt as if my left knee just exploded. I was in excruciating pain. As I lay in a narrow tunnel with magnetic fields scanning my body in complete silence, I thought to myself, why me? Not again. Please, not again. After what seemed like eternity, the results was finally in. The doctor walked into the room and he says, Gerard, I'm sorry to inform you, but you have torn your ACL. You can imagine how I felt. See, adversity is a true test of your mental toughness. It's not what you go through, it's what you grow through. So I began to dig deep, deep inside, and coach myself to eat adversity. I started with E, embrace the adversity. I needed to stop asking the question, why me? We all know you cannot move forward looking back. That led me to A, taking actions, one's ability to change. 
Change takes commitment and the willingness to risk. Lastly, T, thrive. To develop, to grow. That whole year while rehabbing, away from family and friends, I refuse to let my circumstances consume me. I leaned into the belief that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I fully committed myself to the rehab process, which almost took a year. I went on to play professional basketball 14 years. And it has taken myself and my family around the world. I would never forget what it took to get me here. And I'm humbled by my experience. See, as unbelievable as, as it may sound, adversity is necessary because it teaches us to evolve in a way that is unconventional. A lot of us allow adversity to eat away at us rather than to be fueled by adversity. So my friends, I'll leave you with this. When faced with adversity or hardship, stay hungry and eat adversity. Thank you.